Hey guys, it's Amesy here and today I'm going to be showing you all of the sea creature locations in Fishing Simulator and everything that you need to know about each of those creatures. So things like health, damage they do, speed and obviously the locations that they spawn. So before we get started, don't forget to join my Roblox group and to follow my Twitch. Both of those will be linked in the description down below as well as all of my other social links as well. So unfortunately the this server is a bit dark at the moment because I didn't spawn into one where it was daytime because my private server wasn't working for some reason, it wasn't letting me move. But that might be because I just need to reset it. But anyways, first things first, we are going to spawn our boat. In fact, I'm just going to change the boat that I've got out. Okay, so obviously to kill sea creatures you need a spear and you will need a boat as well or if one of your friends has a boat then you can use that. Now there are a bunch of different sea creatures so we have the great white shark, we have the oversized shark, the orca, moby wood and both of the neon sharks so there's a red neon shark and a blue neon shark and they all spawn in different locations and give you different items and obviously deal different amounts of damage. So I think I might just wait until it gets a little bit lighter before I show you where they are. Oh, and another thing. So obviously you have the spear. If you have the creature locator, which does cost gems, I'm not 100% sure how much it was, maybe like 200 or something like that, then that is a real help as well. As you can see, I've got an arrow there showing me the nearest creature location. So first things first, we're going to hunt out the great white shark and that spawns between Port Jackson and Eruption Island. So Eruption Island is over on the bottom right side and obviously Port Jackson is in the middle. So they're gonna be somewhere like around this area here. So I'm just gonna use my creature locator and I'm gonna follow this arrow. Although I know it is heading slightly in the wrong direction, the sharks spawn in a wide range across the map. Oh no, this is the orcas actually. So we've got the orcas over here, so we may as well hunt them first. And these spawn between the Shadow Isles and Ancient Shores. And as you can see there, they deal 150 damage to the boat and they deal 75 damage to a player. And the orcas have 700 health, so depending on your spear will depend how many shots it takes to kill them. So mine takes two shots, so I'm going to assume that my spear does around 350 or 400 damage per hit. And wow, there is loads of orcas spawning in here right now. And we can pick up loads of the rewards that they drop in a minute. So we could have an orca head, tail, fin... There is a small chance that they'll drop an orca egg. So those orcas came a lot quicker than I was expecting. So I didn't really get to speak too much in detail. But let's grab these items and see what we got from killing them. And they have a speed of 50. And obviously that's, that's slower than my boat goes. I think the worst boats obviously take a little bit longer to get across the ocean. But those were the orcas, and as I said, they spawn between the Shadow Isles and Ancient Shores. And I'll just show you on the map. So I am here, and Ancient Shores is over on the top left, Shadow Isles is on the right. So I'm kind of like in the middle of the two at the moment. And as I said, the creature locator is really helpful. The orcas have 700 health, and they deal 150 damage to your boat every time they hit it. And they deal 75 damage to the player. They have a speed of 50 and their attack range is 300. So that is the orcas. Now I'm actually going to try and find some great whites. So let's head over this way and I've got my creature locator out. So it's pointing me almost back towards... Oh, here we go. So if I get out my spear, as we can see, there's a bunch of sharks in the water here. And some people are attacking them, so I probably won't get there in time. Yes, I managed to get there in time, so I attacked one, and the Great Whites have 700 health, they deal 100 damage to your boat and 75 damage to players, and they have a speed of 40, so they're slightly slower than the Orcas, and they also have an attack range of 300. So if we open our bag, 
as you can see here these are the items that I got from the orcas so I got an orca head which is legendary orca tail orca dorsal fin and orca meat and then also an orca fin and then the rarest item is the eggs that don't drop very often and then from the shark we just got some common shark meat and a common tail that time but you can also get all of the different variations for the sharks like we did for the orca and it's kind of the same for the oversized shark they spawn in the same location as the great white sharks between port jackson and eruption island but they have a health of 1200 and they deal 100 damage to the boat and 75 damage to the player which is the same as the great white but they are slightly faster so they have a speed of 45 and their attack range is also 300 and they're a lot rarer than the orca now we also have moby wood which i'm not going to attack now because that takes quite a while you need probably at least half an hour to attack moby wood just depends on how many people you have attacking with you and what level they are so essentially what level their spear could be so moby wood if we go into the map spawns in monsters burrow which is at the bottom left of the map after using the key to summon him in the locked cave which is in there so normally we drive in or you can use the little hot air balloon and land on the island then you use the keys to get into the cave and then there's a little port there so you can spawn your boat in and drive out and attack him however he has 100,000 health so obviously he takes a lot of hits to oh my goodness actually he's over there someone's already attacking him so let's go over and yeah so he's got 100,000 health he deals 500 damage to a boat and as you can see he literally just flew across in the air there he is a huge whale and he deals 250 damage to your boat on a wave attack and he deals 50 damage to a player he has a speed of 150 and an attack range of 300 so he is a fast huge sea creature with a hell of a lot of health so let's just get a little bit of a closer look in case you haven't seen Moby Wood before. So it's only quite difficult to attack because of how much health he has. And obviously sometimes when he's lower in the ocean, you can't necessarily get a hit. So not all of my hits will go through, even though it seems like I'm aiming in the direction of where he is swimming. So that's a closer look at Moby Wood. Oops, there we go. Spinning in the air quite majestically actually. But anyways, let's head over to this shipwreck. And we have now the neon sharks. So there's a red neon shark and a blue neon shark. So the red ones spawn by epic sunken ships. And I don't actually know which sunken ship will be here. So let's have a look, see if any of them come up. What I tend to do is spin around the shipwreck and hopefully the sharks will come up but because there's Moby Wood at the moment I'm not too sure if they will come up or not but if we jump down and swim to the bottom maybe someone's attacked them already and I have flippers so this helps me out quite a lot when I'm swimming down to the bottom all right so I think I've got to the bottom but because I'm in Monsters Burrow it's really hard to see okay there is no neon sharks there at the moment I think they must have been attacked so I'm not too bothered about getting that shipwreck because I can't even see it. I'm just going to swim up to the top and head to another shipwreck. Okay, so the red neon sharks spawn by epic sunken ships and the blue neon sharks spawn by the mythic sunken ships and they both have a health of 1,800. They deal 220 damage to boats and 100 damage to the player. They have a speed of 50 and an attack range of 300 and the neon sharks obviously give you neon like fins and meat and everything and they sell for more so it's definitely worth heading to the sunken ships when there are some i reckon the neon sharks might have gone from here because there's quite a few boats around okay i've just respawned because i got lost in the ocean over there so i'm going to respawn my boat and it'll also put the health back to max and let's set sail again and see if we can actually find some neons so maybe these are all uncommon shipwrecks so that might be why we haven't been finding any neons so i'm sure you'll find them if you get an epic or mythic sunken ship 
but I'm pretty sure all of these must be uncommon, so it seems like there aren't any neon sharks. But we've checked out all of the other sharks and orcas and we have gone through all of their health and damage and speed and everything like that. So that's everything you need to know about the locations and the basics of each of the sea creatures. So let's quickly head over to the shop and check out the different spears. And that will help determine how many hits you need to do on each sea creature. So I'm in the shop now. So as you can see I'm in the spear section and these are all of the different spears and as you can see at the bottom here it says the damage that they do. So if we head down to the bottom this is the jaded crystal for 25,000 gems and it doubles your loot and XP and does a thousand damage. And there are all of these other ones here but the max you can get with coins is 650 damage. So that means every single sea creature would be at least two hits because most of the sea creatures have around 700 health so the better the spear you have the more damage it will do and I think let me see what spear I have so I've got the pharaoh spear so the pharaoh spear does 375 damage and that is why it takes me two hits for most of the sea creatures and as you can see that is the second best one that you can purchase with coins I'm, I want to say this was like 4 million or something and the next one up is 15 million so I've got a lot to save and yeah that is going to be it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it quite useful if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more and turn on my post notifications so you never miss an upload again and I'll see you in the next video bye Yeah, it's a red